What's up guys, this is Fair the Wife and Son here, and welcome to part 80 of Let's Play Grand Turismo 2. So, now we got the worst part in the game all the way, at least in my opinion. We can probably move on to the, the uh, easier things. Oh my god, that was... Uh, uh, ugh. I still kind of don't know how freaking annoying that crap was in the last segment. Oh, Jesus. But, uh, yeah, anyways, uh, this video, we're gonna go back to the easy stuff, and also, we're gonna do our last ride track on the rally event. It is to hit it turn around three backwards, and okay, reverse, say, okay, whatever you want to say it. So, yeah, you can see. Yeah. So, we got, uh, some... Shut up, man, this is the race. Alright, so here's the first race, and then take the dirt route 3 reverse. Yeah, we're well, gonna say massive, basic, familiar GTR. Rally car. I say it's not like a rally car, it's a... It's a modified version of it. Oh, yeah, it's not what you know. So yeah, that thing. So yeah, I'm using the impressive for this race. Thankfully, this is not as stupidly difficult as it was in the last segment, because my god, that was bull crap. That was like beyond difficult for me. I mean, seriously. Thankfully, this isn't, so, yeah. So, as for that tennis, I've been disappointed one attempt. You go over those jumps at a massive rate of speed, you can pretty much guarantee you're always gonna hit that wall. But it's very fun either way, in terms of, you know, going over those jumps. Because you get the satisfaction of enjoying being up in the air when it comes to video games and rallies, races, and video games in general. I would have shut up me anyways. So yeah. So yeah, that's the most, that's the best part about the strap is the uh, jumps at the end. Well, not the end, but the uh, jumps, as like it was in the normal fall round in the strap. So yeah. But uh, yeah, there we go. So time to the second race, yay! Alright, so here's the second race, we have the Insane Impressa WRX WRX STI version 3 uh, car. Pretty much a modified version of it. So yeah, racing modification on it anyways. That's like, like, I don't even know. So yeah. And uh, something I forgot to mention about uh, this trap. Uh, but kind of look at the trap map, you may be able to find a little bit of a difference from the trap map. Because, I mean, as you can see, there's no outline on it. There's no outline on the trap map. You know, there's like a little black outline on the trap map. Well, it's not there for some reason. It's just this entire white layout on the map. It's kind of interesting. I don't know. Wait! I find that kind of interesting. It only happens in this track only reverse. I don't know why. Apparently they made a uh a uh what's the word I'm looking for? Apparently they made a uh, graphics error, I guess, if that's the right if that's the right word you want to say. I don't know. Stupidness. Right, anyways. Oh yeah, this was a very easy one. I guess I'm probably going to show something else other than the Celica, but... Like always, I wasn't entirely sure how fast that Impreza was. So, yeah. But, um, yeah. 
So tough for final race. Yeah. Last race of the rally events. Alright, so here is the last race. This time going in, or the last rally race of the game. Going up against an Opal Integra Ice Race car. Which drives on ice mostly, but yeah. And as you can see, I am using the scooter for this race because, for one, I think this uh, Tegra race car is actually faster than my Celica. So, yeah. So I think what's probably good idea to use this car, maybe, I don't even know, but yeah, using this car was pretty fun around here with that. Now, this is not like stupid Mexican kill climbers. Ugh. That was stupidly difficult, but this is right here because Super Happy Fun Jones! <laughs> Why I use these screen up with those crooked jumps? It's so hilarious. And right here I hit the wall because I didn't know I was mostly because I didn't know I was taking that turn so fast. And now that I think that ball comes up on you really quickly, I don't know, but yeah. So that was fun to use this car around this trap. But uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, well. well, the real guys, um, that concludes all of the rally events. We have now completed the, uh, we have now completed all of the rally races, so... Yeah. <laughs> so you're probably wondering what we're going to do next. Well... We're gonna look at our percentage. We're hey 57, yay! We are 57 percent of the game. There is still quite a lot to do though, and I mean quite a lot. Well, not really quite a lot, but you know, yeah. But we pretty much beat everything in the game, as far as everything in the Red Trinity Foundation. So we are completing all um, Grand Tensional League, we completed all the special events, completed all the nurse races, and now we are completing with all the rally events. So yeah, you're probably wondering what we're going to do next. Well, if we go to, uh, for example, South City. Notice we got this event. There's actually quite a lot of these. And some of the manufacturers, they have some one big races to do. And yes, they do count as progress in the game. Because you can see there's, yeah, trophies required. Or well, as you can see, you have to win these. So yeah. This is what we're going to be doing in the next segment. We're going to be starting the manufacturing races. And there's, and like I said, there's an overload of them in this game. And I mean a lot. When I mean overload, there is an overload of them. So yeah. All, almost all of the uh, manufacturers have uh, one mech races in them. So yeah, and there's, and like I said, there's freaking billions of these. So yeah. And they pretty much count as, uh, half of the game's, uh, completion. So, yeah. And also, you guys are probably wondering when I'm going to do... Whoops, not that. You guys are probably wondering when I'm going to do this. Well, I'm probably not going to do that until I get done with the manufacturing races. So yeah. Well, that's going to be, be waiting until way later. And yes, I will do every difficulty. Just to show it off. So yeah. 
And uh, yeah, this is what I'm going to be doing in the next segment. Like I said, one big races. And there's a lot of these. So yeah. And it's also going to be very, very money consuming as well. And I'll explain why. Let's begin in the next segment. However, uh, that's gonna be do that's gonna do it for today's videos. Tomorrow I'll explain because tomorrow I'm gonna start recording. Or tomorrow I will yeah. So um yeah, if you guys do this here, please give me a like and I'll scroll down the comment section below and have about this video. And uh yeah, we will start the very, very long process of doing the manufacturing races. Because like I said, there's a freaking lot of these. It's also going to be kind of difficult as well, because I have bad memories of trying to win these. And they're not easy sometimes. So that's going to be fun. So, um, yeah. This has been a fan of the White Fiend Digital, and, uh, see you guys later.